Hi guys, and welcome to Cooking with Z. I'm glad you guys are back. I'm glad I'm back. I know it's been a while since I posted a recipe. Um, a lot of things been going on, but I'm glad that you're here in my kitchen um, once again to have fun with recipes and um, find different ways to cook what we love and what we give our families, right? So today I have a short, simple um, video. Um, I love to bake, and people have been asking me why I haven't posted anything um, when it comes to baking um, cake or brownies. So I decided I'm going to start with um, lemon cake. Now, I like to use box cake. Um, I know a lot of people like to do it um, homemade, which is great. Um, I like to make the cake, the box cakes, make them my own. <laughs> So what I do, um, I actually took the recipe, add what I want from my side, and I make it my original cake. So, and I want you guys to see that if you can have fun also decorating the cake, um, cause most people say that that's their hardest part is actually decorating the cake after it's done. So we're gonna go step by step. Um, I did a couple things ahead, like cut the stuff that I needed just for the, um, purpose of saving some time for the video. So I'm using the Duncan, the Duncan Hines uh, Lemon Supreme, okay? And of course, well, I like to use the, the Supreme Lemon. You can use cream cheese. I've also done it with cream cheese. The filling could be cream cheese. Of course, um, butter. Um, I already did both the pans that I need. Um, We'll talk about that in a minute. You're gonna need three eggs, three large eggs, a couple of slices of lemon, a couple of cherries cut up, uh, which is, it's, um, what do you call them? They're like dessert toppings, but you know, you can, we use them to cook. I use them for ham, for baking, for whatever it is I need. I have a cup of water here. I have one fourth of oil. And I have one, I'm sorry, one third of oil and one fourth of butter. And of course, uh, we ha I have a whole bunch of different kinds of toppings. Um, of course, we're not going to use them all, but you can have fun with these. These are like the mini Snickers. Uh, you have the chocolate sprinkles. Um, usually, I use these for like brownies and stuff. So th that will do another day. Um, you have the chips, okay? Of course, the regular sprinkles that we all know and love. And I have a couple different kind of flavors and colors and stuff like that. I like to have fun with, um, with my baking. So, okay, let's start. Now, I know a lot of people have different ways of doing um, their cakes. They'll do just one single, which is fine. Um, I usually try to divide it into two, um, into two plates, um, just because that gives me the option of putting um, the extra filling in the middle, and you can add fruit, jam, uh, whatever you want to the middle of the cake. You're also gonna need, of course, a mixer and a pretty big bowl where you don't have to worry of, of the flour jumping up and getting you dirty and stuff like that. So the recipe says that it'll take uh, three large eggs, one cup of water, I'm going to put the water now, okay, one cup of water. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put this here. Okay. And then this is the one third of vegetable oil, okay? Um, I know that some people like to cook with coconut oil and um, uh, what do you call that? The seed oil and all that stuff. Not for this. You can, but what's going to happen, your cake is going to come out soggy, okay? <laughs> you don't want that. Now, one of the things that I add, I add 
one fourth of butter melted. Okay. Now people always ask me, why does my cake come out so moist? Why my cake always are so soft? This is my secret right here, guys. I actually melt one fourth of cup of butter or margarine and I add it to my recipe, okay? Another secret that you can actually do, um, believe it or not, you take um, a pouch of instant pudding. Uh, for this one, I would use vanilla. This is chocolate. Um, and I would use this for chocolate or maybe even strawberry or peach and stuff like that, but not for the lemon. Um, it actually makes your cake so much more fluffy and very, very delicious, guys. Um, these are secrets that I'm giving you right now. And of course, we're putting in the three eggs. So it's very easy. There's nothing really to be um, scared about or worried about. Um, and of course, the more the more you bake, the easier it gets. Um, I love baking. I think it's so much fun. Um, of course, my my family loves baking. Uh, so now, of course, when you are mixing it, you want to make sure that you don't have a whole bunch of lumps, okay? Because if you do, if you don't mix it well. What's going to happen, it stays like powder, so when it, you cook it, there's going to be bits and pieces of it in your cake. And we definitely don't want that, okay? Now, once you see that it's, it looks very well mixed, okay? Now, also, you don't want to overdo it, okay? But you do want to make sure that it's all, you see how you don't see no, no bumps, no big bumps. Sure that all the corners and in the bottom they're all nice and mixed up in there because remember you put the extra butter so you want to make sure that it's all mixed so that everybody can get the whole pan can get flavored and we're going to divide this into two two plates okay so one here and one here now my oven has been heating for, I want to say like 10, 15 minutes um, at 350 guys, okay? So uh, if it's dark, usually I know it tells you uh, do three, 350 or 375, which is fine, but uh, I guess it depends on the oven and what kind of oven you have. And this, my kitchen is very hot right now. Um, so, for my oven, I use 350 because it's, um, it's dark. If they were regular, um, silver ones, I would probably put it at 375, okay? But I'm going to use 350. So, you use your judgment. Um, it usually explains it to you in the box. You know, it tells you, you know, if it's going to be dark or if it's square or... It already smells good, guys. Now, I'm debating whether to put these cherries in there. Because I think, I guess I can. Now, it will, I'm not going to put a whole lot. Now, my whole purpose of this video is that it's okay to have fun when you're baking. Like, you shouldn't have to be nervous or, or you know, worried about that you're going to mess up, that that's not going to, the flavor is not going to be right. If you follow the directions and you take your time, it should be fine. And um, have fun with it. Don't be afraid to add stuff into your mix. Um, that's how you make it your own. Yes, okay, it was from a box. So what? So what we do, we make it our own. Right? Because what makes it your own is that it's your recipe. You made it your way. That's what makes it your own. And I try to make my food always my own. Um, no matter what it is I'm making. <laughs> so just because, I don't know, it just makes me feel better of what I'm cooking. Because then I feel like it is 
And then the ants come up. I am gonna, you know what? I am gonna put a couple of cherries. I'm gonna show you something a little fancy. Just gonna throw a couple of them in here. And I, I am going to, what I like about this when you do this, believe it or not, I know there's gonna be people that are like, oh my God, that's not gonna mix the flavors. <clears throat> Let me tell you something. I don't know if you guys have ever tried lemon cake with cherry um, bits in it, but it's delicious, okay? Now I'm taking a little butter knife and I'm just pushing it in a little so that that way it can be inside the batter, okay? I don't want to, the reason I'm doing it like that and not with a fork, like when you do marble cake, is because you can see how the pink, if you do it like that, then the cake will have streaks of red. So that's why I'm just taking the butter knife and I'm just pushing it in. Just kind of tap it, make sure that it's covered. And that's it. And this little thing right here is going to make an amazing, amazing difference in not only the flavor of the cake, but how the cake is going to look. Okay, because let's be honest, even if a cake, oh my God, even if a cake tastes delicious, but it looks like you dropped it on the floor, um, people are not gonna really wanna eat it, right? So we not only want it to taste good, we want it to look good. So I'm gonna take the my two cakes, put it in the oven for probably like 20 to 30 minutes, depending on the, on the oven. Mine usually takes like 30, 40 minutes. And then I'm going to let them cool and then we're going to come back and we're going to decorate it, okay? So I'm going to see you guys in a minute. Okay, guys. So I just took these things out of the oven, and they're very hot. Um, I wanted to let you guys know, uh, make sure that when you touch the cake, you see how it's bouncing? Can you see that? That means it's cooked. If you, if you touch it in the middle and it goes in, then it still needs to be cooked, okay? You're gonna take a, a spatula or a butter knife or um, anything of this plastic and just go around while it's still hot because it'll make it easier for you when it gets cool off. And just kinda, don't do it too hard because you don't wanna break the cake. Okay, you see how soft, look how soft and cushiony that is, huh? Look at this, okay? And you do the same thing to the other one. Now, you're going to want to cool it for at least, I usually cool it for like 15, 20 minutes so that I know that it's not going to break on me when I actually um, do the, you know, the decoration and stuff like that. You see how soft this is, guys? Look at this. Okay, that's because of the butter. Look at this. Oh, and the smell is amazing. Okay, so now I'm going to let this cool, okay? And then when we come back, guys, we're gonna decorate it, okay? We're almost done, okay? You guys are doing great, so I'll see you in a minute. Okay, guys, so now everything is nice and cool. They're all, um, like I said before, we went around and made sure that it wasn't sticking to the bottom. Now that they're all nice and cool, so you can actually touch it, work with it, so we're going to use a plate, just a regular, I mean, I'm going to use a regular plate um, and I'm going to just flip it over. I like to put the plate over the, over the, the baking pan, make sure you tap it and it should come right out. Okay. So here we have the first part. Looks good already, huh? It's nice and tender. You see that? It's nice and firm. 
and you can actually work with it in case you need to move it or whatever you don't have to worry of it breaking because it's nice and cool and of course we have a second one but we're gonna wait until we um put the frosting on this one before we uh, put the other one on top okay now you see the cherries that we put um so i'm going to use the cream the lemon cream all right was saying before um there's all different kinds of um decorations that you can use um i think it's fun to be able to just uh use something different if you um if you always use the sprinkles the regular sprinkles then use some chocolate sprinkles if you always use the ch use chocolate sprinkles then try something different like these are all eatable. So these are like little balloon ones. They, they are they taste delicious. Um, or you can do the decoration. I love these. These are like really light uh, sprinkles. They come in different colors. They had the pink and the purple, but I used those. And they have the stars with the little um, sparkles. Um, they have so much stuff that you can actually use to decorate. You can use fruit. Um, so it's, it's, it's fun to be able to, um, try different things, you know, and not be afraid, uh, to try something different. Um, I think it's exciting. And, um, I love to try different things when I'm baking. Um, I kind of look, I'm a, I make sure that it's something that, I believe is going to mix well with what I'm making. Um, you know, if I'm making strawberry cake, then I try to find some fresh strawberries that I can slice and put on top or put on the side. Um, same thing with the orange supremes. Um, you know, when you make uh, the chocolate Dutch cake, uh, you know, you can put walnuts in it. So there's a, there's a lot of things that you can do when it comes to baking to make it fun, to make it different and exciting. And um, because you want it to look pretty, you want it to look um, eatable, right? So we're gonna put, um, you don't need to put a whole lot in the middle. Uh, you just want it to make sure that, um, you know what I'm saying, that it's all covered. Because remember, you're gonna do it again on the side. Again, do you see how easy it is? And you can see the pieces of the, the cherries that we threw in there. Oh my God, this is so open. Wash my hands again. I'm sorry, guys. I wash my hands a lot. Now, I want you to see something. A lot of people just leave it like this, and that is fine. If you are going to leave it like this, then you put, I would put a lot more of the, the, um, the cream in the middle, okay? So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna finish putting this on, okay, and we're gonna come back and finish decoration. Okay, guys. Well, I have put the rest of the of the frosting. Now, it depends on how you wanna, um, what kind of strokes you wanna use. I just, especially if it's a lemon because it's a light color, I just kind of use the spatula and just kind of just lightly tap it. And it kind of looks like little waves. Can you see that? Okay, it looks like little waves. It doesn't take much. You just kind of like, just slowly tap it to the side. You see that? Look. It just kind of gives it a nice little look, right? I see a cherry here. Let's take this away. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. And the same thing for the top. Okay, it doesn't, um, 
Okay, there we go. You just kind of swerve it. Okay, so you see, um, mine's is done. I'm not on um, Now, like I said, you can use anything that you want to decorate this cake. Um, I'm going to show you. I'm, I'm trying to make it so that you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, guys. Well, what I'm going to use for right now for the top, I'm going to use these. These are like um, they look like really, really light sprinkles, and I love the way that it looks. Plus, I also like that it's yellow, so it'll stick out because of the green. So what I do, I take a little bit of my hand, and I kind of sprinkle it around. Now I don't want a whole bunch because it kind of kills the look. So I just kind of enough so that it can look crystalline. Let me show you guys. You see? So it has color, but just not like a crazy, crazy much. And I'm gonna show you why. Because now this one, the one with the little sparkles, is the one that I am going to decorate for the side. Because I want you guys to have fun when it comes to decorating. So what I'm going to do with these, I'm just going to take a little bit and kind of throw it on the side. Not on the top, just on the side. And just like maybe four or five seconds. Not through the whole thing. So don't take a whole bunch because you're going to probably make a mess. Okay, see how I threw, I threw some right there. We're gonna do that again. Of course, usually I, I'll do this over the sink, which I would recommend that you guys do also. But because I want you guys to see, I just take it and move it and throw the little sprinkles. I'll bring that later. <laughs> but I wanna make sure that it's even all around. And go ahead and have fun. It's, it's a cake. It's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be, you want it to look eatable. Do you see this, guys? Look at the difference that just a couple of sprinkles made to this cake so now it looks amazing amazing and it looks delicious who doesn't want to eat that who does not want to eat that a little bit more here on this side now i kind of swing it so that it can look you see how i can I am pretty proud of it, I gotta say. Can you see the design, guys? Okay. So now, I'm just gonna take, I cut a couple of these um, slices of lemon. You don't have to. I like to, to decorate it. So I'm just going to put two small slices of, of lemon on the cake. Okay? Do you see that? It looks amazing, amazing, amazing. Now guys, even though I don't want to cut it right now, <laughs> I am going to just because I want you guys to see what we have created together. Now, one of the things I'm gonna tell you, I didn't do it 
Um, but sometimes I'll take the juice, I'll take like a, a toothpick. Before you put the frosting, you can um, poke the small, not deep, really deep holes, and just take a little uh, tablespoon and just kind of sprinkle it. It'll go through the cake and make it very moist. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut a piece of this cake. Now normally what I would do, I would put it in the refrigerator for like at least 20 minutes um, so that it could become um, the frosting and everything gets settled in and it gets um, not hard, but it gets uh, I don't know, more stable, I guess you want to say. What's the word I'm looking for? But I do want you to see how this looks inside. And it's very soft and very moist. You see this? Oh. Oh my god, that's delicious. It really is. So guys, there you have it. Look at the inside of the cake. Hmm? It looks delicious. You see the cherries? Oh my god. Yeah. I gotta say, you're going to love this, guys. You are going to love it. So, guys, don't be afraid to go to the kitchen and bake something for your family and have fun. I mean, look at this. We did what it took us like maybe three minutes, maybe five tops to decorate it. And it looks beautiful. Taste is delicious. And, um, and I know they're going to love it. I mean, look at this, guys. I mean, the frosting, it is so moist. And I'm sorry, guys, but I am going to taste it. Mm. Oh, my God. You have to taste this, guys. <laughs> Your family's going to love it. You're going to love it. And it's going to be a delicious, you don't even need anything with this. But, you know, I would do it with some vanilla ice cream. You see the cherries? Guys, this is delicious. I mean, why not make this? It doesn't take long. It looks beautiful. And it makes your family feel loved. And who does not want a piece of it? I mean, come on, it's gorgeous. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you try the recipe. I hope your family enjoys it. And I hope you come back for more recipes. Having fun in my kitchen. Thank you for coming with me. And I will see you guys soon. And please don't forget to check out more of my videos, the cooking videos. Um, there are so many on there. Um, have fun. Try some out. And come back when I do more videos to check them out, okay? Thank you so much. Like, subscribe, and share, and I will see you guys soon. Happy cooking.